In this essay, you will be writing about the significance of the printing press. In the complete prompt, you should have noticed that our format is a paragraph, our audience is other teachers, and since they're other teachers, they are people who make decisions based on evidence and reasoning, much like those from the scientific revolution. As a result, our goal will be to use sources and to craft in-text citations that reference those sources like a true research paper. Our topic is how has the printing press changed the world, and our purpose is to persuade and inform our audience. When you think of this bold question, some other ways to picture it in your head might be, what effects did the printing press have on the world? Or, why was the printing press important? That's the question you're trying to answer. What impact did it have? In your graphic organizer, I have an example topic sentence that you can choose to use later on if you want. We're simply stating that it changed the world and started the modern era. Your first job is to then prepare your information before you start writing it. To do that, we're collecting our sources, our big ideas, and a quote from that source that we think we'll eventually be able to use as evidence. So, before you just start filling in boxes, this is when you need to turn to your papers. You can use any of the sources from our handout with the mini DBQ. On the front side, you have this Junior Scholastic article. On the back, you have the three different sources that you can pick from. You also have the Atlantic essay that we read through. That gives you five sources to choose from. Your goal is to find three from which you can capture the main idea. So your first step might be to reread this article and think about, according to this, what is the big impact of the printing press? You don't want like a specific fact about how it works. You want to know what it did. And so you might sit here and see in this paragraph how it describes the way that people were able to use the printing press to gain information for themselves. That as books spread knowledge to the middle class, they no longer needed to just learn from a master, but could teach themselves. That's a big idea. And so you'd hop back to your graphic organizer and you'd say, yeah, I can use this source. So I'm gonna use Junior Scholastic. Since there's no author name, I can just put the title down. Normally you'd use the author. And then you'd collect the page numbers because you're going to use those later on for your citations. After that, you summarize in your own words that big idea that you found. And so we can say simply, books enabled people to learn from for themselves and not rely on the powerful masters. And by that, I mean like the church and the nobles who used to be able to control information. In our relevant quote section, we want to find the piece that's really going to help show that. And so I might like this like part about rebellious ideas, but that's getting a little complicated. Instead, let's just steal this quote that's already in there. Now, technically it's coming from somebody else, but that's all right. We can use that and just reference the source here that it's coming from. So you could either retype it or just paste it in. And now, I know what I'm going to put in that first part of my paragraph. So then your next step is to continue that with two other sources. A lot of students struggle because they want to start typing right away. But instead, you need to stop, go back, look through the documents, and decide which of these do I understand, which gives me a good answer to my question about what was the impact of the printing press, and then you need to collect that information. If you're struggling, you can use some of these source tutorials that I have gathered where I explain some big ideas, and then you can plug that information into your graphic organizer.